Hey, welcome to the Close Up Photography Challenge. This is day two, and here's what's gonna happen. We're gonna talk about extension tubes and the amazing functionality that they offer when combined with regular lenses. Here's a 35 millimeter. We're gonna test this today. Now, yesterday I tested this 24 millimeter wide angle lens and I got some really cool shots. That dragonfly footage and, and the shots, the photos I took, that was really fun. Now, as always, my goal with every video is to go out in one photography session and take one perfect photo. Now, I rarely do I make that happen. It's challenging, but it's a good goal. And here's what I found out. This 35 millimeter lens actually gets a lot closer. There's more magnification than again, this 24 millimeter. So I wanna start there. And then I continued to do some research and this is what I found to be so very interesting. This is a telephoto lens, a, a fantastic Sony telephoto lens, and it zooms from 100 millimeters into 400. Really great for wildlife. In fact, there are so many egrets where I'm at, I couldn't believe it. it. Must be a dozen. I took a few photos, no video. Maybe I'll get some video soon. But this has a magnification of about 0.35 compared to this which comes in at 0.17 so the magnification is about double with this particular lens and i'm thinking you know what happens when i take this and i pair it with this and again 35 millimeters let's take some photos and see what happens get started with the teleconverter and i just went out and shot two test shots again 35 millimeter lens the first shot you're seeing on the screen now was taken with this 35 millimeter prime lens such a great value. Low f-stop, f1.8, super fast, great for low light. And then the second one, I just added this extension tube. Now, one of the things, this particular brand, it was the Makey, I believe is the, the name of it. This is a 16 millimeter. I actually have two, and once again, I think I have the 10 millimeter at the, at the house. The bigger the number, so this is uh, 16 versus 10, the more close up you're gonna get. And I was a little worried it would be too much, but yet it was, uh, it was pretty good. So you kind of saw the difference in magnification. It's just amazing what you can do. Uh, I wanna talk a little bit about composition too. One of the things to think about for me is every time I'm shooting, I'm trying to get the best light, right? So what I'm looking at is the direction of the sun, where it's coming from, and then the subject. And I want the subject uh, facing me with the eyes lit up by the sun and whatnot, and then I wanna take the photo. So a lot of times it's pretty challenging, but if you just wait, and it's almost easier I'm learning if I can just sit and wait be at a flower and then wait for that subject to come into the perfect shot, perfect spot, and then to take a few photos. So one of the things I'm doing right now is I'm looking at the frame and as I lean in, I'm looking where my shadow's going and then I'm adjusting the focus to ensure that I don't get shadow in the shot. And I think that's pretty good right about there. Maybe just a little bit more. So I'm at F7. ISO of 200. Now I'm probably not really at F7. When you add an extension tube, it actually, uh, you lose a few stops of light. So I'm probably at like F10 or 11. I might have got one in flight. Yes, pretty good too. Earlier at the park today, I met Jasper. We had all kinds of fun. I just got a couple good shots. Boy, these look real nice. I think I'm gonna uh, drop my ISO down to 100. This is such a beautiful shot. That's a pretty neat photo. Is it one perfect photo? <laughs> uh, probably not, <clears throat> but I'll keep trying. One of the things I'm trying to do with my photography is I'm taking the shot. If I've never taken a shot before, I'm taking it. Try to learn. I'd never done the dog catching a frisbee thing, so I did that when I got started this morning. Oh, there we go. That was perfect. Boy, 
boy, if I could get a dragonfly, or a bee rather, to land on top of that flower, wouldn't that be a beautiful frame? Right now we're filming at 120 frames per second slow motion. Now here's what's up. Something happened moments later, and I was just, I was just getting set up to test this. This is an incredibly versatile lens. Most 100 to 400 zoom lenses are versatile. 100 is great for portraits. 400 will get you into wildlife, some birds. And the magnification ratio is 0.35, which that's really on the high end for typical normal lenses. And that's the, the setting we talk about when we talk about close-up photography. How much magnification does the lens offer? Now here's what happened. <laughs> I'm getting set up and I've got this telephoto lens and I'm all ready to go. I've got another lens on another tripod filming and then this beautiful big black and blue butterfly flew into the garden and I got this footage. And then I was like, I grabbed the camera, I was hand holding, I got some uh, shots, about three or four shots. And this last one is, is really interesting. Now here's what happened. This butterfly landed on a flower that was in a very dark and shaded area, except for this one flower. So the butterfly was kind of illuminated. Now the, the background was all shadows and it was very dark and it created this dreamy look. And that's the footage that you're looking at now. Now here's the thing. I mean, before I move on, can we just, I just, that was magical. For me, that was, a uh, pretty cool shot. Was it perfect? No. What's the point if it was? <laughs> Might as well stop. You know, again, when we talk about uh, close-up photography, when we talk about macro photography, it's really about the magnification. And a true macro lens, this is the Sony 90 millimeter, which is special, even though it's older, this has got characteristics that most lenses don't. And if you want to learn more about macro and you want to see me take some true macro images like this photo, this photo and, and some of this creepy footage happening on the screen now, click the video on the screen now. Join me in the next video. I'll see you there. You dig?